In this problem, you are asked to prove, based on Newton's laws of motions and Newton's uh, law of gravity. So this is one of them. Um, And this is another one, the second law, I mean, the third law. And gravity. So G is the gravitational constant, uh, the masses of the two objects and this is the distance that separates the centers of mass of the two objects. So that's gravity. And you have to use these to show that all falling objects have the same acceleration. If they are dropped at the same location on the Earth, and if other forces such as friction are unimportant. So actually, we have done this uh, several times. Uh, during the lecture. So the force of gravity uh, is going to cause objects to accelerate. And so this is an object with mass little m. So then big M will be the mass of the Earth. And R squared will, uh, R will be the, the, the radius of the Earth. All right, so then this acceleration is the acceleration due to gravity. And so G, we can cancel the masses on this side and on the other side. And so we get that the acceleration due to gravity is gravitational constant mass of the earth or any body really divided by the radius of the, of the body or the separation between the two bodies squared. And this is independent of the mass of the object that is falling. And it depends only on mass of the earth, radius, gravitational constant. So if you drop them at the same time, the two objects with different masses, they are accelerate. They're going to accelerate at the same rate. So easy peasy.